right, so we've been getting a lot of awesome crossovers this year. You know, we've had we're gonna get you know we're getting Green we're getting Green Hornet in the Shadow. We're get we've we've basically got Sonic and Mega Man crossing over right now, and we're also going to be having Hex Slash versus Army of Darkness. Now, all of them sound epic. But this new one just sounds really epic from Dynamite Comics. They have just announced today that they're going to be doing a Voltron and Robotech crossover. Uh, when I saw this, I nearly died. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right now. I nearly died when I read this. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> because I'm a... For those who don't know me, I love Robotech and, and Voltron, so I was literally like, I nearly fell out of my seat. When I was looking at, you know, through the, from my, uh, from Comic Vine, I was like, wait, Voltron, come, what, did it? <laughs> so, all we know is that they're crossing over because we've, um, today they've also announced that not only is this crossover going to happen, but they've also acquired the, that Dynamite has acquired the rights to Robotech, which also sounds kind of really weird because Dynamite, like, this is, Robotech is something IDW you think would grab. But, no, it's Dynamite. It's the same thing with Voltron. You'd think IDW would grab that shit, but, again, it's Dynamite. And they just, and, and Dynamite decided, you know what? Since we have Robotech, we're going to cross it over with, with Voltron. Because. <laughs> and I think it's a really good idea. Both these are very well-known mecha animes. And I think that, you, you know, you can remember them from the animes or the, you know, the cartoons either way. This is, I think, is a really good idea. Both animes are very well-known as classics, and crossing them over, I think, would make a lot of sense. But the que the big question is, you know, the big question is always, how are you going to make the two universes work? Because Robotech and Voltron exist in different timelines. It, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, it, it, the Robotech is in the future, but Voltron is in, like, the further future. So... I don't know exactly where they're going to go with this. Maybe they'll try to say Vol Robotech and Voltron are in the same timeline or something like that. I'm still kind of... I still want to see this because they're both great mecha animes. I'm wondering how they're going to fit in Voltron with Robotech. And also, we're going to get Prince Lothor as the villain, uh, apparently. So, pff, shit, I'm all psyched up for that. I'm, I'm really excited. You guys don't know how excited I am. This is one of those crossovers where you're just like... Oh my god, that makes so much sense. And <laughs> in the last time we saw Robotech, I think it was under Udon. I could be wrong, but uh, I think it was. I think it no. I think it was under DC at one point, if I'm wrong. But then they then they changed it around to Dynamite. So uh, basically, the uh, the writer I think is uh, Tommy Yoon. I think that's the writer. He's the creative director at Harmony Gold, and he's. He's the big mastermind behind the crossover. Both franchises, and here's I'm reading the statement, both franchises have endured their popularity today and fans have long speculated an epic crossover between the universes. The opportunity to do so is an honor. It's a welcome challenge to construct a storyline that welcomes the key characters on both sides. Most important of all, it's going to have a lot of fun and plenty of surprises. So I'm really excited for this. I think Again, I think this is a fantastic idea. Robotech is an anime that had planes that transformed into pilots. Uh, yeah, robots, I mean, and you have so many great villains and heroes on each side, so, yeah, it's, <laughs> I know it's just me fangasming over it, but that's really what I do, that's the same thing I did, this is, I'm basically doing the, what I did earlier this year when they announced the Army of Darkness Hackslash crossover, it's just one of those crossovers where it just, it, you just want to see it happen, it's like a, it's like a really good sandwich. <laughs> It's a really good sandwich. My God, I'm losing my mind. But, yeah, I really want to know what you guys think of this. Are you guys excited for Robotech and Voltron crossing over? I'm personally still waiting for, who knows, maybe that they have Robotech now. And Because not only, this also kicks off the Robotech comics. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep the crossover in continuity when they when Dynamite decides to do, finally goes ahead with the Robotech comics. So that's going to be a big thing, because then it'll be like a shared universe type thing, I guess. But... They have done crossovers before, like when Star when X Men did Star Trek and X Men. That was the crossover that launched into the Marvel second series of Star Trek comics, and um, they didn't have any set continuity with the X Men. So maybe this crossover will just be announcing, "Hey, we've got Robotech now," and then they'll go on with their own Robotech comics. 
So that's what I'm also wondering is like, uh, here's that's another big question. What do you guys want to see from the Robotech comics when Dynamite finally does those? And what do you want to see from this crossover? I'm still waiting for a Robotech Transformers crossover. Come on, Dynamite, IDW, IDW, <laughs> Transformers Robotech. It writes itself. So it also makes me wonder, because Dynamite's the two biggest things they're doing right now is taking pulp characters and make them awesome and taking 80s cartoons and making them awesome. Well, except He-Man. DC has He-Man right now. And <laughs> so who knows? Maybe they'll get... Um, I'm wondering what else they'll get from... Because uh, they've got our old Voltron and Robotech now. I'm kind of wondering if they'll get like some other obscure 80s cartoon like... Uh, the Dino Saucers or something like that. That'd be hilarious. That'd be fucking awesome. Maybe they'll get... I don't know. Maybe they'll get 90s cartoons. I'd really like to see Dynamite or IDW get a 90s cartoon like Extreme Dinosaurs or uh, Street Sharks. Oh my god. They have my money if they do one of those. But I'm getting off topic. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, you guys tell me what you think of the Robotech comic news and what do you think of this crossover? What do you think is going to happen? What characters do you want to see meet in this crossover? And also, Chris, Mount Vernon Kid, I know you're watching this, so and I know you're a fanboy of both, so I really want to know what your thoughts are on, the, on Voltron and Robotech meeting. Anyway, guys, I'm out.